This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back for a new special series, though for my secondary channel, of course, known as the Goku Report. As you all know, if you've watched my main show, I do an, an off a series called Sales History of specific video game franchises. Well, I'm doing something similar now, a special series exclusive to my secondary channel called box office history looking at the box office of specific franchises going order of release date looking at domestic as well as international sales and taking that into account and if available also mention the budget of those films so with that said for the first installment of this series I thought I would go with an interesting franchise, a franchise that I definitely am rather familiar with. Now that is The Hunger Games will be the first franchise. Next time I plan on discussing a specific franchise that I'm not quite so close to, which will be on the Resident Evil live action franchise. But with that said, this is the first installment of box office history so with that said looking at hunger games the first hunger games movie was released in 2012 and in my opinion is definitely a solid great film for me if i in ranking i probably have it in third place for me personally with that said or in last but with that said it was, like I said, released in 2012 uh, with a budget of $78 million. And total, it did domestically. Can't see it from where I have it over here off the side. Okay. Domest domestically, it did... $408 million. Well, $408 million ten thousand six hundred and ninety two dollars so with that said also it did an estimated fifty eight point eight percent of its box office was domestically its worldwide gross for the first Hunger Games film would do six hundred and ninety four million three hundred ninety four thousand seven hundred and twenty four dollars not bad then we go in my opinion probably the best of the movies that being catching fire release in 2013 with a budget of 130 million so that's quite a good size increase in budget domestically Catching Fire would do $424,668,047. It total domestically would make up 49.1% of total box office. So down a little bit domestically overall percentage. Though a massive increase in size, worldwide box office would do 865 million eleven thousand seven hundred forty six dollars next also I quickly want to say hopefully I don't get copyright issues with the remix music in the background given this is eat it by or beat it by Michael Jackson originally uh, with that said next up we have released in 2014 the third in the series and I think somewhat underrated uh, Mockingjay Part 1 with a budget of $125 million, so about $5 million less budget. Um, total domestically it would do $337,135,885. Total domestically would be 44.6% of total box office. Also, it would end up doing a... Well, yeah. Worldwide, it would do seven hundred fifty-five million three hundred fifty-six dollars. Well, six thousand seven hundred eleven dollars. 
But yeah, domestically at 44.6%, so down again a little bit. Then we have the final installment, which would actually do the least amount of the franchise, surprisingly. That being Mockingjay Part 2, released in 2015. Uh, it would have a budget of $160 million, so the most expensive by far. Uh, domestically, it would do $281,723,902. And domestically, would make a 42.8% uh, total box office. And worldwide, it would do 658000 or $658,344,137. That is just basic of the box office history of the Hunger Games films. Like I said, in the future I'll be doing a Resident Evil one as well, as well as a Middle Earth. Also working on one for the Matrix series. So, uh, leave a comment below, let me know a movie franchise you would like me to do a box office history on. With that said, everyone stay safe out there in YouTube land, and I'll see you next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel, and hopefully you enjoyed the music in the background. And here's hoping I don't have copyright problems.